In this video, you're going to learn another functional core exercise that keeps your back strong and safe and then protects it from back injuries. And if you haven't watched my last core exercise video, and be sure to watch it first before you do this one. If you want to learn how to retrain your body and then movement safely and then effectively and then move better, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every week. I am Taro Iwamoto. I am a Feldenkrais practitioner with my background in athletic training, physical therapy, martial arts, and the Feldenkrais method. I have helped many people like you overcome and then move beyond the pain and the limitations. Now it's your turn and let's dive in. So for this functional core exercise, you're going to use a weight. And if you can't find any weights in your house and you can find something like um, laundry, soap and dishwashing soap or anything like that and that you can be, you can use as a weight. So I'm going to use the uh, ultra shine uh, dishwashing soap uh, to demonstrate an exercise. And you can do this exercise sitting in a chair, standing and kneeling. And I'll show you all the variations. Again, if you haven't watched my video where I talked about proper role of hip and the core. And please watch that video first. You have to understand in order to train your core muscles efficiently and effectively, and you need to learn and you need to understand the proper roles of the hip and also the core. So watch that one first and then you come back to do this video. So, uh, so I'm gonna start in sitting first and, and holding on to the weights, and you can adjust the weights. And first, and start with, of course, the lighter weights, and, and then you can progress the weights first. But um, again, this is the functional core exercise. Then the functional application of this exercise is about lifting in an object. Okay? And very common that people hurt their back and while lifting, right? And so, it does make a difference in how you actually use your core muscles and to keep your back safe and strong, right? And so when you do this exercise, people are very aware of the core, right? So they, okay, so when they lift something heavy and then they think about engaging the core and then trying to use the core to lift, but um, really, and that's not enough, right? And this is, a very, very simple exercise. And so holding onto the weights like so, and then I'm reaching the weights down towards the floor, okay? And keeping my back, my spine fairly straight. I'm not rounding my back, I'm not arching my back. Keeping my back straight and then reaching the weights down towards the floor. You don't have to go all the way down. And then feel the weight on your feet, right? So when you start to lift this up to your chest, you're not doing the lift by initiating the motion from your arms or from your back. So the way that you do it is by pushing your feet down into the floor, okay? What happens when you push your feet into the ground, it brings you up, right? So this is where the uh, initiation of the motion becomes very, very important. Uh, this is going to really determine how safe you can keep your back when doing the lifting. Reach the weight down and begin to push your feet into the ground. And then as that movement as you push through, uh, push your feet into the ground, and then that begins to bring your torso back up. And you are trying to keep your spine neutral. So this is where the core engagement comes into play. Because if your spine, your core muscles are not engaged, and then you end up arching your back, 
with losing the control, destabilizing the spine. And this is, you know, where you could injure your back. But if you didn't really initiate the motion by pushing your feet into the ground to bring yourself back up, and then you think about engaging your core, then you are overworking your back muscles. You're trying to initiate the motion from your back. Not very good, not very efficient. So overworking the back and then you could strain your back by engaging your core muscles, but not, um, um, and then also by not initiating the motion from your legs, from your hips. And that's a big problem, right? So now this exercise, you are just really understand how you do this one and then doing the repetitions, three sets of 10 to 15 repetitions. It's good, right? But just attend to your comfort. If your back begins to strain and feel a little tired and icky, that means you are maybe overworking your muscles, your back muscles. It should be, it should be using your legs, right? Here, pushing and lifting. Pushing and lifting. So, like I said, this can be done in sitting, this can be done kneeling, this can be done in standing. So let me show you what it looks like. And okay, you can bend your knees a little bit, okay? And then this, the weight, Go straight down towards the floor. You don't have to go all the way down to the floor. Here, and attend to the spine, okay? Keeping your spine straight. And then, how do you come back up? Pushing through your legs. And then you lift up. So, what does this one look like? It looks like a deadlift, doesn't it? Here. So, this is how you properly do the deadlift. This is how you lift. Okay, this is different from squatting, right? And that's another exercise. But we're working on core, we're working on the hip. So this is the hip hinging, hip hinging patterns, right? So be sure you don't overly arch or you don't round your back. Keeping your back straight, going down, using your legs, pushing through your feet, up. So you're going to feel in your core as much as you're going to feel in your glutes. And that's this exercise. So do it slowly. You don't have to do it in all positions, sitting, standing, or kneeling. Kneeling will look like this. For those of you who are able to tolerate the kneeling positions, it's the same thing, same patterns of the hips. Reaching the weight down, coming back up. So. If you don't engage your core muscles, then what happens? You are going to probably arch your back as you're coming back up, okay? And then as you're going down, then you have no stability if you are not engage your core muscles. So core muscles are engaging. How do you know if you are engaging your core, muscle, core muscles or not? If you are able to keep your back and keep your spine in the same position, then you are. And uh, you are engaging your core muscles properly. But you go slowly, and then if you notice the spine is starting to change the shape, then at the moment, that's when you're losing your core muscles, right? So that's how you know whether you are engaging your core muscles or not doing this exercise. And you maintain that quality of the motion, and then going through that three sets of 10 to 15 repetitions. And that's it. All right, and again, this is a functional core exercise. And what do I mean by a functional? This is about bending and this is about lifting. Lifting, okay? And you do this exercise to retrain your movement patterns. And you gotta apply to your everyday movements that involves the bending and lifting. That way, you are putting that new pattern into your daily motion and activities and you're keeping your back safe and protecting your back from injuries. All right, and please leave a comment and questions in the comment section below.